Hi everybody, this is Vasavi from At Home. Today we are going to see how to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. First we need to know the formula, right? So let me uh, give you an example. Let's take an example. Uh, I would take an arithmetic progression like 7, 12, 17. This is a sequence. It is an arithmetic progression with common difference, right? We know my first term, the first term is 7 and the common difference, D. You can find the common difference by taking, uh, subtracting the first term from the second term, right? So that is going to be 5. So my first term, A1, is 7, right? How did I get the second term, A2? I just added... My common difference to this, right? So I get the second term 12. Okay, now the third term, I add 7 to this. I already added a 5. Now I'm going to add one more 5 to it. So when I add two 5s to the first term, okay? So that is 7 add 2 times 5. We'll give uh, our third term okay and the fourth term would be to the third term you are going to add one more 5 right so the third term was 7 plus 5 plus 5 to this you are going to add one more common difference so that is 5 again so this would be like 7 plus 3 times 5 okay and it goes like this just look at the pattern here for the first term, the common difference is 0 times 5, okay? 7 plus 0 times 5. And for the second term, it is 7 plus 1 times 5, right? For the third term, it is 7 plus 2 times 5. Fourth term, 7 plus 3 times 5. So you see that there is a relationship between the number of terms and here the how many times we add the common difference, right? So if it is fourth term, you add 3 times. The common difference is added thrice. If it is third term, you have added twice. So it is one less than the number of terms, right? So in this pattern, your, your nth term would be 7 plus 1 less than this n, right? So that is n minus 1. 5. So in general, I can say my nth term. You can use a n or t n, okay? My nth term is the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So this would be our formula for the nth term. And let's see how we use this in the problems. So let's go on to the first set of problems. Here they have given you 23, 20, 7 as your arithmetic progression. And they've asked you to find the 25th term, 100th term and the nth term. See it is very easy since we know the number of term. The nth term is first term plus n minus 1. D. Let it, we can find any term. Okay. Now the first question I am going to do. So you need to find the 25th term. So your n is 25. Okay. So as per the formula it would be a plus n minus 1. n is 25 here. So that is 24 minus 1 d. I mean 25 minus 1 d. That is 24. Right. So let's, uh, in, this, in this series, your A is 23 and your common difference, you need to find out your D is second term minus the first term as, a, as always we do. So that is negative 3. Your common difference is minus here, okay? It's a negative number. So minus 3 it is. So let us plug in the value here. So this will be 23 plus 25 minus 1 is 24, right? 24 times 
negative 3. So do as per the Bodman's rule, you have to do the multiplication first. So let me multiply 24 times negative 3, okay? So that is going to be minus 72 here. So that will give you an answer minus 49. So your 25th term is minus 49. You have got the first answer. Now let's do the second one. Second one is just the same. You are going to find the 100th term. Remember this is 100th term. Your n is 100 here. So as per the formula it is a plus 100 minus 1, right? So that's 99. 100 minus 1, d. Plug in the value of a and d here. So that is 23 plus, this is 99 times minus 3, right? That's the common difference. So this will give you the answer 23 minus 297. So your 100th term is minus 274 got it so that's done the third problem they ask you to find the nth term so we don't know what n is so just leave it as it is nth term is a plus n minus 1 a is the first term okay n minus 1 d so apply the formula whatever you know you plug in so that's 23 plus n minus 1. n we don't know. So I just keep it as it is. And times negative 3. Okay. So that would be 23. Apply the distributive property. So you will have to multiply negative 3 times n is negative 3n. And negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So the nth term here is 26 minus 3n. Let's move on to the next problem here. So in this problem they ask you to check if negative 150 is a term in this AP. Okay. So let's first as soon as you get an AP problem arithmetic progression problem find out what is your first term and the common difference. Immediately do that. Okay. So the common difference is 8 minus 11, right? 8 minus 11, so that's minus 3 again. Here the common difference is negative here, okay? Now they ask you if minus 150 is a term of this AP. So let's see if any term, if any nth term in the AP is negative 150, okay? Let's equate it and check. So nth term formula, you know, it is a plus n minus 1d, right? I'm equating it to negative 150, okay? Plug in the values. So a is 11. So a is 11 plus n, we don't know. We are going to find out if any n is equal to 150, right? Minus 150. So I just write it as it is. And the d is minus 3 here, okay? equals minus 150. So let's do this. So this will be 11 plus when you multiply 3 minus 3 times this it will be negative 3n right minus 3n and then minus 3 times minus 1 will give you plus 3 right equals minus 150. So what happens? Now I can add, on my left I can add my 11 and 3. So that's 14 minus 3n equals minus 150. Okay. Take the 14 to the other side. So you get minus 3n equals minus 150 and the minus 14, right? So that will give you minus 164. Negative 3n is equal to minus 164. So your n should be minus 164 divided by minus 3. Okay. See if you get a whole number when you divide this. You don't get a whole number here. 
you get a fraction okay so this is not a whole number so if it is not a whole number n is not a whole number you can say this is hence it is not an ap hence 150 negative 150 doesn't come in doesn't come in the ap okay anywhere in the ap okay sorry i i just got confused with the question so they just ask you if it is a term in the uh, ap right you can say it is not a term in this ap got it when you divide this you don't get a whole number so this is not equal to a whole number okay so if n is not a whole number you can say that the term is one negative 150 therefore negative 150 is not a term in ap okay in this arithmetic progression that's all if it was a whole number then you could have said that it is a, a term okay that's all so let's go on to the next problem they ask you to find the number of terms in this ap right the first term and the last term is given you need to find the number of terms so here again the same method as we did for the previous one find out a find out the difference common difference so that's 13 minus 7 so that's 6 let's find out what is the term right so tn is equal to the nth term is given as 205 right? the number of terms you need to find right so let me equate the nth term to the formula the formula is a plus n minus 1 d okay and this they say is equal to the nth term is equal to 205 plug in the values so your a is 7 plus n is what we need to find out which the position of the term is to be found out and d is 6 is equal to 205 okay so here uh, you can take the 7 to the other side n minus 1 times 6 is equal to 205 minus 7 that would be 198 now your n minus 1 is equal to 198 divided by 6 so that gives you 33 fine so your n would be 33 plus 1 and that is equal to 34. So therefore 205 is the nth term. Is the 34th term. So there are 34 terms. In the, because the last term is the 34th term. So therefore there are 34 terms terms in the AP. That's all. Find out N and that is the number of term. The last term is 34. So there are 34 terms, right? Good. And the last one here, this is very easy. They have given you the nth term. If 3N minus, 20, minus 65 is the nth term of an AP, find the AP and also the first term and the common difference. So they say nth term is equal to 3n minus 65 so simple so what will be the first term t1 so plug in 1 in the place of n okay that's all minus 65 so that's 3 minus 65 which is minus 62 okay so that's your first term you can find the second term immediately so your second term is 3 times 2 minus 65. So that's going to be 6 minus 65. So minus 59. So you got the first term. Your first term is minus 62. That's your answer. And then they've asked you the common difference. Common difference, subtract the 
first term from the second term. So minus 59 minus of minus 65. Sorry. So that is to be 62 here. So the common difference would be 3. I can give you one more clue. Instead of finding, see when the nth term is given, the coefficient of the n will be your common difference always. Okay. Always you can say that the common difference is 3. See, here also we got 3 only, right? So the coefficient of the nth term will be the common difference. Hope you understood what we have done today. Have a good day. Bye.